everyone, how are you? David DeFranco here from davidthefranco.com with a pretty unique product review today for the creative types like myself who enjoy photography as well as shooting video. And that is Peter Gregg's A Better White Balance Tool, which is right here. Yep, that's it, and I'll explain more in a bit. Okay, so you guys have heard me mention white balance in the past. It's obviously a very important factor that you have to keep in mind if you wanna get accurate color in your photos and your videos. Okay, so before we get into the actual review itself, let's educate ourselves. And yes, that includes me because I'm not an expert. I still learn things as I go. So let's talk about white balance and what exactly is it? So white balance in layman's terms is basically the process of removing unrealistic colors from your photo and or video and making it more accurate as if you're there looking at the scene itself. So three examples of a poor white balance are as follows. Number one, let's say you're shooting out on a sunny day, beautiful weather, you're getting nice natural light, but for some reason your photo is coming out with a blue cast. That's a good example of a bad white balance setting. And number two, a yellow tint on a white object, and this is a very common one that I still see myself on a somewhat regular basis. For example, this piece of paper right here is white in person, as it normally is. But if for some reason I had a poor white balance set on my DSLR, which by the way, I'm using a Canon T4i, then this could appear yellow. But thankfully, it's appearing a pretty natural white. And number three, this is another common one myself, red skin and a poorly lit room. Now while using a custom white balance tool can be very beneficial for your content workflow and for post-production, I will say using auto white balance is probably okay for most situations. But if you're going from different light source to different light source, such as from my bedroom to my office, to my living room, to my kitchen, then I most likely will wanna set a custom white balance per room. This just allows me, the content creator, to get a natural look, which obviously looks great for you guys as well. But getting away from auto white balance, because let's be realistic here, if you want good looking video, good looking photos, you're gonna wanna use a custom white balance. And that's exactly where this comes into play. This is Peter Gregg's A Better White Balance Tool. Now these don't look like much. I mean, they look like little pieces of plastic and that's essentially what they are. But what you're getting out of these pieces of plastic, that's what matters. Okay, so starting the process, how exactly do you use this tool with your camera? Now again, I am using a Canon T4i and finding the setting is pretty easy to set my custom white balance. And the same goes for many other cameras, whether you're using a Canon, a Nikon, a Sony, anything. There most likely is a custom white balance tool as long as your camera is somewhat semi-pro. But even with that said, some cheaper cameras out there do fully support custom white balances, so explore your camera settings and see if it has it. All right, so let's get started. This process only has four steps. The first step is pretty obvious, but go into your camera and find the setting or option for a custom white balance and turn it on. Step number two, take your A Better White Balance tool and place it against your lens, making sure there's no light leaking out, like so. Now step three, this is easily the most important part besides the tool itself. Aim your camera at your primary light source. Now personally, I enjoy using my umbrella lighting kit and it works great. So for example, I would aim my T4i directly at my umbrella lighting kit again with the a better white balance tool against my lens. Which brings us to step number four, shoot your photo. And there you go, you're set. Your custom white balance is officially configured on your camera. Now of course you wanna do some test shots to see if your custom white balance is set properly. And my favorite example of doing this is just holding up a white piece of paper and seeing if it comes out accurately on the camera. This is not only the best way of getting the most accurate colors possible with your camera, but you're also saving a lot of money. And I cannot recommend this product more, especially if you compare it to the more expensive products out there. All right, so this tool does come in two sizes, and obviously this is gonna vary depending on your camera setup. The small, which is 70 millimeters, retails for just $19.99, and the large size, which is 95 millimeters, retails for $26.99. But if you want my personal opinion, especially if you're using different cameras on a regular basis, you'll wanna get both, so if you do get both in one package, it's just $34.99. And no, it does not matter where you live, whether you're in the US, Canada, Japan, wherever, this is international shipping. So definitely check it out if you're a creative type 
like myself who just enjoys accurate color. And guys, let's face it, using a tool such as this not only saves you a lot of money, but it also saves you a lot of time in post. It's just overall a great product and very affordable. And of course, if you do want to get one for yourself, go to a betterwhitebalance.com, which is right below for your convenience. And of course, guys, if you have any questions regarding this, let me know, just post in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out or maybe somebody else who is more of an expert photographer will help you out. Because I am by no means an expert, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm learning as I go. I mean, I'm still learning things about my T4i, but this is easily the best camera I have ever purchased. So guys, that is it for today's video. I wanted to try something more unique, so I just hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, guys, your continued support is amazing. Stay tuned for my late 2013 Mac Pro unboxing. In just a day or two, I cannot wait. So thank you again, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.